Hey guys, this is SpySite and I'm here today to show you how you can actually move your video or audio files from one device onto another. Whether it is from your memory card onto your desktop, your files on your computer, or even a removable media storage such as a USB drive or a memory card. Now the process will be exactly the same whether you're moving from one onto the other, but uh, this is a simple way that you can move it directly from one source to the other without having to first copy to your computer and then copy to another device if that is not something you want to do. Um, if you're copying it to your computer then just replace our words for an external media device right onto a file or desktop on your computer if that is what you're doing. So right now we are looking at a memory uh, recording actually from one of our audio recorders and I've inserted it into the USB device. The computer has created a temporary drive to it and it has opened this window here. Um, if you are viewing this on a full screen, this one over here might have a secondary square on it and when you hover over it, it might say minimize. You'd want to do that for this step. That is something that is going to allow you to just arrange the uh, windows that you're gonna be using for this purpose so that it's easier for you to actually do the task without getting confused. Currently we're using a PC. If you're using a Mac computer, it might look a little bit different, particularly because of how Mac opens and closes the windows and uh, their visual actual setup, um, but you'll be able to adapt the same process and use it on your Mac as well. Now, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to transfer these three files onto a USB removable device, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and insert our USB port, uh, our USB media device into the USB port. When I do that, uh, you'll see that the computer will create a new window. It has created a new drive and it has opened a new window. Now if you're lucky like me, uh, you'll see that it will put it side by side based on the same size of your previous uh, window. But if you weren't so lucky, your device might have opened it in full screen, in which case you might be looking at something more like so. And a lot of people get very stressed because all of a sudden the page and the window that they were looking at before is totally gone. But it is not, it's just simply right beneath it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you to go ahead and click on minimize that window so that you can actually see it smaller. And if you're paying close attention to what your mouse does, you'll realize that if you go to the edge of any part of this window, your mouse will turn from a solid big arrow to a double sided arrow. That means that you can drag and move any of the sides that you are currently on. So I want to go ahead and left click my mouse and I will drag this over to about here so that it makes my window a lot smaller and now I can move it. If you're not sure on how to move it, all you're doing is going to a blank space in the top bar and then left clicking and holding the mouse so that you can actually move this window around to wherever you want. If you've uh, placed uh, both windows side by side, it will make this process super easy. Now keep in mind, the files are on this side of the screen and I wanna put them on this device here. So there's a couple of ways that you can go about that. You can go ahead and select the file that you want, right click on it, select um, copy from your menu, and then come over here to the device you wanna put them in Go to any empty spot, left click, and then select paste. When you do that, the device basically makes a copy and puts it there so the same recorder is on both devices right now. If you have a lot of recordings, doing it like this is going to take you a very long time. There is a way that you can do this a lot faster, so I'll show you with the remaining two files how you can do that. You're going to 
once again go to an empty space within your area over here and you're going to left click and hold the mouse and then just drag it as you drag it you can go up down you can go left and as you can see it is highlighting the different files that i go over so i want these two once i have my selection completed i let go of the mouse and now i can either right click and go to copy and then here paste or i can simply drag select and then left click and hold and just drag them right over here so you can see it's going to tell you what it's going to do if that is exactly what i want to do i let go of the mouse and the computer goes ahead and completes the action for us and now we have our three files on the original file uh, window and the three copied files on this window over here because you have now made copies of it and we don't know if you have made the process of formatting this drive prior to this action, um, you'd want to make sure that your recordings are good. In fact, it might be a good idea for you to format the device that you're copying things onto before you complete this action. That won't be possible if you already have files on it, but if it's totally blank, it's a good habit to go ahead and do that uh, formatting, which I will show you how to do at the end of this copying process. Uh, so, in order to make sure that our recordings are good before we delete the original recordings, is we are going to simply select a random recording and we're going to play it. If it plays, then we can be rest assured that uh, likely the other files are fine just as well. So I'm going to double click on this one and we're going to listen to see if we hear any recordings at all. Then please slide the uh, switch to the on position when you want to record and when you're done just slide it to the off position. It is that simple and the recorder can hold up to 70 hours of recording time. That is really, really a lot of time. If you need to run out on batteries, just keep in mind your battery life is only 15 hours. Check out more products from spyside.com, S-P-Y-S-I-T-E.com, or call us at 845-371-0000. Thank you. So our recording place, our file seems to be fine. Now we can go ahead on the main device and select all the things that we don't want to keep there and we can go ahead and right click and delete or we can just simply select and then on the keyboard just click the button that says delete. It's going to ask you if you want to permanently delete this so in case you did that by mistake you have a chance to not lose your recordings. In this case, we're going to select yes, go ahead and delete it, and now our original folder is empty and our backup copies are now in this drive here. Now let's assume that um, we have these recordings here and this is not what we want to do with it and we want to clean this particular USB drive so that we can put new recordings on it and not have to worry about uh, damaging or corrupting any new files onto it. There's a process that you use to do this. And some of the things that, um, that you're going to do is basically um, understand what formatting means. Formatting is just a simple way of uh, deleting a file or a uh, particular folder or a drive completely. Now keep in mind that if I format this USB now, it's going to delete all these three recordings. So make sure you do not delete or format a file or a drive unless you have already properly saved whatever information you want to keep. Once you're ready to forego the information on the file, you can go ahead and um, navigate to My PC or if you're using Windows 10, it might say this PC and it might look something like this locate the file that you want to delete. In our case, it was drive J. Okay, so take notice when you are using your, um, your drive that you take notice what the drive letter is because if you delete the wrong one, you're going to be deleting um, something you might not want to. If you want to double check, you can just double click. Um, <laughs> you see, that is not the correct file. So in this case, um, I think uh, K is our original one, which is not the one that we want to do and our other option is file L. So let's double check. I know it has something because there's an actual 
uh, amount of space there. So if we double click, that is the correct one. Let's make a note that is dry valve, the one that we want to format, and we'll go navigating back to this PC where we can see the drive letters like that. We will want to highlight the drive that we want to format, okay? And then the next thing we want to do, I'm gonna move this up so you guys can see better. Okay, oh, sorry about that. Okay, um, all right, that should be much better. I want you to see the whole process. So as I get here, I see my drive L. I'm gonna right click on it, and one of the options that appears, let me move it a little bit forward, up so um, it doesn't seem to be showing you what I wanna show you. Okay, so right click on it, and one of the options that appears on this menu, it's format. You'll want to click on format, okay? When you do that, you're going to get this window here. This window is going to show you that you are going to be formatting drive L. This is how much capacity it has. And then it asks you for some sort of file system. You can just leave that however the default is. Um, and um, then all you do is click start. It's gonna warn you. Anything in there will be gone once you do this. In our case, that's exactly what we want. So we're gonna click okay. And uh, depending on the size of your files or your USB, it's going to take a little time or a lot of time. In this case, it was very small, so it tells us that the formatting has been completed. We click OK, click Close, and now when we take a look at our drive L here, we go into it, double click, there's absolutely nothing. This file has been prepped for additional files to be placed right on it without fear of corrupting anything. Um, if you have questions, you can reach back out to us at spyside.com. You can give us a call at 845-371-0000. And we hope that this tutorial will help you better manage your files from your recordings that you are making with your hidden camera or your spy recorder. Let Be sure to uh, reach out if you have questions or if you need assistance of any other kind. The website is www.spysite.com. Our phone number is 845-371-0000. And you can also reach us via the chat on the website. Thanks again and have a great day.